When I was 15 years old, I had the first turning point in my life. And later, I had to spend six years in preparation for entering a university after graduating from high school. Today, let me share my personal experiences as up to this point. And I promise you will have the courage and passion to challenge yourselves with something difficult, which seems impossible to carry out. When I was in junior high school, my family was fi struggling financially. There were times we could neither pay for new utility bills nor buy food. My father was out of the picture. My mother had to take care of my grandmother because she was sick in bed. Her condition was so severe that most facilities rejected her. Everything did not go well. Nevertheless, things changed when I met my high school English teacher. It was the first turning point in my life. His way of teaching English was so inspiring. Even a beginner like me could understand it very easily. He was beaming with joy and happiness. He often said to us, what is your goal? Why do you study? A person without a goal in mind cannot try harder. Why? Because that is the only thing that makes you motivated. I was so encouraged by his words. And thanks to his words, I realized why I couldn't change my situation so far. Until that time, I was addicted to playing video games. I had nothing exceptional and didn't have anything special in my mind. Teachers around me didn't inspire me a lot. Subsequently, I decided to help my family and myself by working part-time and studying at school. I wanted to go to school. I wanted to inspire my future students like he did. I wanted to pursue my dream. Whatever might happen. So I worked my fingers to the bone without a single day off at Mr. Donuts. I hope everybody knows. I often said to myself, how many more ponderings should I make? How many more old fashions should I sell? Things were tougher than expected, but at the same time, it was a chance to be an inestimable person since nobody around me had strived to be one. If I could it successfully, I could be the pioneer in the field. That was thrilling to me, and it gave me the chance to be a more passionate person and gave me the feeling of becoming closer and closer to the goal day by day. That kind of life continued for the remaining three years in my high school days. And finally, at last, I passed the entrance examination. And all I had to do was to enter university. When I thought back on it then, I had devoted everything to that very moment, day after day. I put an end to hanging out with my friends, not only for the reason I thought it was worth trying, but also for the goal I wanted to achieve. However, I had insufficient funds, and I could not get any scholarship because I was underprivileged. I had to give up entering university. The lack of money delayed my education. It was bizarre. In Japan, many scholarships should be paid back after graduation like a loan. I was not qualified of the grant due to little income. I was furious. I screamed and didn't know how to bear myself. After, gradu after graduating from high school, I needed to work much harder than before. Whatever might happen, I wanted to go to college because nothing could be changed 
if it went on like that. But as I thought, things were tougher. I was about to give up many times. I could not see a bright future. Even if I tried hard, the money I needed could not be later made up for. So I didn't know what was the correct answer. But the only thing I could do was to keep working part time and studying for the preparation to enter university. Suddenly, a day came when I felt helpless, hopeless, and apathetic. I couldn't bear my monotonous life anymore. I wanted to discard everything to escape the tough reality. I wanted, to go to, I wanted to go to as far places as possible. Then I chose London without specific reasons, with what little money I had. Then and there in London, I had yet another turning point in my life. I took some English lessons for some time in London, and I met people of all ages from all over the world. It was the first time for me to expose myself to a diversity in classes. It was so inspiring to me, and some were much older than I. They had just started to study English in spite of their older age, and they, some, some were having a family, some were having a full-time job, and others were much younger than I. They had still more passionate persons, and they had great challenging mind compared to other people. I thought every person had dealt with adversity. I felt very ashamed. I had been making excuses or blaming circumstances for not producing any results or making a better situation. Also, I realized age, circumstances, financial problems, the past negative experiences had nothing to do with the future accomplishment. After coming back to Japan, I decided to retake the examination. The financial situation was totally the same. But I felt much more energetic and spirited. I had no one to ask for help. I didn't know how to ask for help from others. But I poured my energy to the floor to enter university. And favorably, this time, I passed the test, receiving a full scholarship for four years. When I was 24, I officially became a university student. During my time at university, I became the top English speaker and presenter in Japan. In addition to that, I was hailed the outstanding English teacher at prep school named Waseda Academy. And I started my own YouTube channel. And thanks to my supporters, I established my own school. Every goal I have been aiming at was attained. And last year, when I was 28, I graduated from the university. People used to say, Kay, you should give up going to university because you are too poor. Nothing can be gained if you take extra years to enter university. That is the situation in Japan. So Kay, give up and find a job to start your new life. Sometimes, I felt overwhelmed by those words. But luckily, those words didn't completely stop me from turning my dream into reality, as that is the reason for my being. My dear audience, please remember the most disturbing thing is fallacy. The fallacy that you are inferior to other people. Each person has a right to pursue our dream. 
some people may say, you should give up having a big dream. It's too risky. Only capable persons can make it. So give up having a big dream. Reality is harsh. But I believe if our dream is strong enough, and if we have enough passion, mission, and vision, your dream can exceed reality. I hope everybody here will have the challenge to do what you want to do from now. Again, I believe we can exceed reality with our big dream. And if you have enough passion, mission, and vision, we can change reality with your big dream. Let me ask a question. What do you want to challenge from the bottom of your heart? If you have some, how about challenging today? Thank you.